Previously on Live to Fish 64, I had a 1963 40 horse Johnson that I traded for this 1986 uh, 35 horse Mercury with trim and tilt. But I had issues with it. Uh, the starter motor was shot and uh, uh, was seized, and uh, also the trim motor had issues as well. So, as you can see in the photos, um, the magnets were shattered inside and uh, the thing was completely uh, uh, garbage. So I added a uh, new used uh, starter motor and a brand new trim tilt uh, motor to this unit. And uh, so you'll see that in the upcoming um, Okay, video. everybody. I'm back on the uh, 35 horse Mercury with a tilt trim. I uh, finally got back to it. Um, some carburetor parts came in, so I was able to get the carburetor back on, but I'm still waiting for the jet. I had to replace the, the uh, high-speed jet. Actually, I had to drill it out of the carburetor because it was so uh, badly uh, beat up inside, and I wanted to make sure it was cleaned out, so I had to drill it out and, uh, and pull it out. So um, anyway, I've got spark now, so I want, I want to demonstrate that. I've got the relays set up to where I've got the tilt, new tilt trim motor installed. That is already been installed. Just two Allen head bolts that go in. You drop it in, you fill it back up with fluid, and you're all set to go. Didn't take long to do that. Um, so it's got the new wiring harness attached. That's this. And I've got a couple of bullet uh, connectors here that I've got to hook up to this here. Um, this would actually go to the blue and the green, but then I've got... Uh, I've got the uh, harness that actuates the, uh, the uh, throttle control and the tilt trim switch is here. So I need bullet connectors for these that I have to go get and still connect that up. So once that's done, I can test the motor and see. So I've got good compression, I got good spark. I don't know about my carburetor yet, but I'll find out. When I get the, when I get the jet in, I can put the jet in, and I can put all this back together and it should be good to go. I might be able to jury rig something up, but I, for right now, I don't have anything um, made up. Um, but here, I'm going to check spark. I've got the wires hooked up. The spark testers are hooked up, and I just want to see if we got spark. So let's try it. I see spark on the one, on this one. Okay, we've got good spark. Okay. Okay, good deal. All right, so I'm going to leave it there for today. I've got spark. I've got good compression. I've got a decent starter that's on there now. And I uh, just got to try out the tilt trim motor to see if that's functioning. And then uh, this motor hopefully will be ready to barrel test. So stay today with me. Is a uh, three wire, three wire tilt trim motor that uh, stopped working and I'm going to dismantle this thing to see maybe what caused it. Um, I also purchased another one which is a two wire from DB Electronics and it's supposed to be the direct replacement for it. It comes with relays. The uh, initial one had solenoids and the new one has relays. So I hooked that up and it also failed. It did not work. It just, the motor just ended up getting hot and the relays got hot. So I'm wondering if, if it's the motor itself or, or just something in the electrical on the motor uh, on the 35 horse. So I'm going to take this one apart just to see if there's anything wrong with it and put it back together. Um, if, if I can get, if I don't see anything wrong with it, uh, I'm just going to assume that it's okay and then look at something else on the uh, motor itself to find out what the root cause is. So stay I'm tuned. Gonna, I'm going to take these four screws out, top, pop off this lid, and then uh, try to figure out what's going on. Now at first glance, looking at these screws I just pulled out, you can actually see that they're wet. So there must have gotten some water into this motor, so I suspect that this motor is faulty. So we'll keep digging. Well, definitely some rust got in here. Uh, 
Also, the motor itself on the where it spins is wet and full of gunk and rust. So that definitely is a problem. Okay, I got the back off. There was signs of water in here. Uh, also, the uh, brushes don't seem to move very well. They're not, the spring loads on these brushes are stuck. So that could be very well what the problem is. Um, aside from all the rust, now the uh, uh, what would you call this thing? The actuator? I forget what they call this. Uh, I'm not a motor specialist by any means, but I do know that this has to be the uh, this has to be tested in order to see if it works and there's um, resistance between each one of these connections you have to check and also the 180 test you have to go across each one of these with an, a, an ohmmeter to test the resistance on each one of these this looks like it's in pretty bad shape I doubt it's going to be very good so I can I can check it but it looks like it's even been damaged here probably hitting the internal magnets as it passes through or, or it's being uh, rotated in the uh, in the magnetic field the housing don't look too bad but this certainly does does not look as good as I'd hoped. So I have to get a volt ohm meter and check this and then make sure it's still functional. If it isn't, then it's garbage, so. Okay, so far, I've discovered that these brushes are sticking. This one I freed up a little bit, but uh, these others are sticking, and I think that's probably what caused this. This motor was working very poorly, but it was working. So I'm going to take each one of these out. I've already taken the, the spring off of this one. And I've cleaned this one up and put it back in. So I just need to do that with all four. I just need to do it uh, with, uh, with all four of these and then put it back in. And then I'll uh, check the commutator. I believe that's what that's called, is the commutator. Uh, and uh, once that checks out, if that checks out, I can put it all back together. Now my only other concern is the seal around here because I think water was getting in. Uh, and that seal would be this O-ring that goes around here. Uh, I could probably purchase that online, get another seal, if the, if the motor proves that it works. So this is the pump portion of it, which all seemed pretty good. Uh, a little rusty in here. Looks like it might have gotten some water intrusion in there, but it does spin. If I put this screwdriver down in there in the key, I can feel it. I can You can actually see that moving down there. So that pump probably is okay. So I'm going to give that a try, and we'll go from there. Well, I cleaned the commutator, and I put it all back together, got the brushes freed up, inside and they are now functioning very well uh, again this is the three wire so this is the original trim motor that that went on the uh, 35 horse and it's working uh, in the garage i'm going to use the i'm going to use the 12 volt battery off my car and test out this motor so being as old blue it should actuate this motor. There it goes. There it goes, okay. That would be the forward direction. And this should be the, the other direction, down direction. There it goes. Let's try the other one one more time. Yeah, 
Yep. Well, that works. So that motor's verified. To uh, probably just re back reinstall this, uh, even with the uh, solenoids, instead of uh, using the new motor. I don't think I can send this back because uh, they don't want any scratches or any gouges on it. When I did take it out, I put a little uh, a little hurt on this motor right there. So it's still good. It still probably would work fine, but I'm going to hold on to it and maybe I'll have a use for it down the road. But uh, I'm going to go back and put this original one in. This is probably a better motor anyway. And uh, with the original solenoids and I'll keep the uh, so the relays that came with this together and uh, it'll you know, I'll just keep it as one one unit I'm going to go through this as well and open it up and see why it doesn't work it, it 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 does heat up it does act like it wants to work but it sticks so this is the end of part two um, stay tuned and uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button